and welcome to Growing Deeper Daily with Gateway Church. I'm Pastor Michael, and we are ending another week together in God's Word. We've been doing this for over a year. Uh, you could go back and look at our previous times in God's Word on our Facebook channel all the way back till last March and April, and as well go to our YouTube channel to find some previous episodes. Um, but I want to remind you again, for those of you that are not on Facebook or YouTube, download our app. Go to the App Store or Google Play Store, search Church Center, and download that app, then plug in Gateway Church, and you can get connected to our church. You can watch live services coming up. You could go to our daily devotions each day. You could give there. You could find a life group to get connected with. You could submit a prayer request. You could learn more about our church's beliefs and what our mission and values and vision are. Uh, just get connected. Download that app. It's a great way for you to find everything you need to know about Gateway. Yeah. And since it's a Friday, as I do every week, I want to invite you. Those of you who are with us here in Staten Island or in the region that want to come out, we're meeting at 9 and 11 this coming Sunday, uh, continuing our study in the Beatitudes, talking about these uncommon characteristics of a truly happy and blessed life this Sunday. We're going to talk about hungering and thirsting after righteousness and finding satisfaction, always hungering and always finding satisfaction in the Lord and in Him above. I want to invite you out. But if you're not able to be here in person, Facebook channel, YouTube channel, website, and now live on our app, you could watch our services 9 and 11 o'clock. But today I want to end with one of my favorite of all Proverbs this week as we continue our look uh, in the coming days about what it means to live skillfully in this world and beautifully, artistically, in this world as we seek to honor God. That's what it means to be a person of wisdom. Uh, the word means to be skillfully and artfully living our life. That's what we're called to do. And one of my favorite is found in Proverbs 27, 17. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Here we see this wonderful value of community, of friendship, of even here this idea of, of mentorship as a way of applying it as well. That as one metal is used against another, as iron is used to sharpen iron, as you get a sharpening blade to sharpen a sword or a knife or whatever it might be, so too when we rub up against individuals in our life that are good for us, they take off the rough edges. And boy, oh boy, do we have rough edges, right? All of us do. All of us have quirks. All of us have areas in our mind where there's gaps in our understanding, where there's a lack of skill in how to live, in what we need to do and be as parents, as husbands, as wives, as kids, uh, as co-workers, uh, as pastor, as a, as a leader. None of us have made it. None of us have completely arrived. There are some dull edges in our life. And the scriptures remind us here, the proverb says the wise person rubs their life up against the life of others that will sharpen them, not for means of destruction and to hurt, but, uh, but that we might be more useful in the hands of our maker, that we might be more useful uh, to be faithful to the task that God has called us in. So what, what areas in your life, think about it as you head into this weekend, uh, what areas in your life do you maybe feel a little dull in and you need to be sharpened a little bit? Uh, maybe it is in parenting. Maybe you're in a phase of parenting right now that's overwhelming you. Who are you going to surround yourself with to help sharpen that edge? It may be somebody you literally know in person. Man, it may be going to a, a podcast or reading a Christian book. Uh, I believe those are other ways that we could sharpen our skills and our mind. Uh, maybe some of us as well are um, feeling a lack of uh, ability in something uh, in, in regards to our workplace. We need to humble ourselves, ask for help from someone else. You know, this is ultimately what you know we hope to be as a church of God for each other spiritually, that we recognize all of us have some dull edges in our life that God wants to work out and sharpen to make us more and more like him, to make us more useful in his hands. None of us have arrived. It is this wonderful invitation to grow, but we can't do it on our own. We need each other. We need each other for this path. Uh, you know, as we think about this theme in the scriptures, this idea of sanctification, of growing more and being set apart more and more unto God in our life. Uh, it's this idea of growing in Him. Uh, it takes time, and it takes a community of people around us to grow. Uh, some of us are going off on a solo endeavor in our spiritual walk, and we, and we get shocked when we fall and stumble. Uh, we can't believe when we get, we get disappointed when we see ourselves not progressing in 
ways that we think we should have already. Well, part of the reason sometimes is because we're going at it alone. As iron sharpens iron, so one man or woman can sharpen another. We need each other. Surround yourself with men and women of God that are going to encourage and challenge and sharpen you in your faith. Be teachable like this. Be humble like this. And watch how you grow and mature and you see yourself becoming even more uh, obedient to the Lord and useful to Him. It's because of His grace in our life that we can even hunger and thirst for righteousness like this. So that's my prayer for us this week, that we'll be surrounding ourselves with the men and women in our life that we need to help us grow as the Word of God, the Spirit of God, and the people of God help us more and more to be set apart as God's people in this world. Well, once again, Thank you for joining me this week in our look in the Proverbs. I pray for you every day that God's word might go deep in your heart and might change you and me from the inside out. I hope you have an awesome weekend. I can't wait to worship with you on Sunday here at Gateway. I'll see you soon.